Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hey, how are you today? Fine, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are you? Very good. I am fine. I am fine. Good. And you? Oh, I am good. I'm happy. I feel happy. It's Monday. Had a good weekend. How was your weekend? Well, what did you do this weekend? Um, when? Where did you go this weekend? I stay in house. Oh, you stayed at home? Yes. I stayed at home. Okay. I stayed, I home. stayed at home. Everybody repeat. I stayed at home. I stayed at home. And what did you do at home? What did you do at home? Study English. I study English. I studied English. Very good. I studied English. What else did you do? What else did you do? What else did you do? Watch TV. Ah, okay. I watch TV. I watch TV. I watch TV. What else did you do? What else did you do? What else did you do? Only. Ah, okay. Como se dice, fui a la iglesia. How do you say? Go to the church. Ah, I went, I went to, to, the to church. church. I went to church. How do you say, hice las compras? El comprado de la semana, el jamón, los huevos, la leche, la carne, el pollo, el arroz, I bought. la pasta. I, I bought. No, I. I, I, shop. I went. Boy. I went oh, okay. grocery shopping. I went grocery shopping. Repeat, I went, I went grocery, grocery shopping. shopping. How do you say visité a mi familia? I went visit my family. I visited my, my family. family. Oh. ¿Cómo se dice? Fui al parque a correr. Okay. When, I went. When, I went. I, I, I went, went, the park. Running, went in the park. running in the park. Excellent. In the park. ¿Cómo se dice? Cociné para mi familia. I agree. Okay. I, I ordered Pizza Hut. <laughs> joke, it's a joke. <laughs> I, I cooked lunch 
for my family. family. For my How family. do you say bañé al perro? I watched your uh, dog. I washed my dog. Excellent. Okay. Now, what I would like for everybody to do is I want you to tell me what you remember about the previous class. ¿Qué se acuerda de la clase anterior? Describir direcciones. Sobre las direcciones. Addresses. ¿Cómo pedir direcciones? Sandel Hope. Ask do if, address, how do I get to asking for directions? Asking for directions. Can somebody give me an example asking for directions? Un ejemplo pidiendo direcciones. Um, where is the bank? Very good, Jacqueline. Where is the bank? Excellent. Another example? Where is this supermarket? Nice, Rosemary. Where is the supermarket? Another example? Where is the bank? Where is the park? Excellent. Another example. How do you, how do I get to park? Very good. How do I get to the park? Perfect. Okay. So in today's class, we are going to be looking at the following information. Are you ready? Are yes, you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. So for this activity, we're going to be looking at section 4.0, lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for talking about things people hate to do. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán vocabulario para hablar sobre las cosas que las personas odian. Okay, for example, I have to stand in line at the bank. Tengo que estar parado en hacer cola en el banco. Lo odio. I don't Okay, aquí no sé qué quiere decir que I have to do the laundry twice a week. Tengo que lavar la ropa dos veces a la semana. I hate it. Ready? Let's listen. I would also like for you. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Todos escuchan? One. Yes. Stand in line. Yes. yes. Two. Do laundry. Three. Travel to work. Four. Go to meetings. Five. Exercise. Six. Work in the yard. Seven. Clean the house. Eight, open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Ok, so para este ejemplo me van a dar cinco oraciones positivas y cinco oraciones negativas. For example, I have to 
pay the bills every month. Tengo que pagar los recibos cada mes. I hate it. Lo odio. No tengo que limpiar la casa todos los días. I don't have to clean my house every day. So, me va a dar cinco positivas, cinco negativas. Any questions? Any questions? Podría explicar un poquito mejor cómo serían las positivas y cómo serían las negativas. Yes. Utilizando, eh, puede utilizar las que están acá. Puede utilizar estas o otras. Por ejemplo, aquí, eh, stand in line, que es hacer cola. Usted dice, por ejemplo, el positivo, tengo que hacer cola para subirme al bus. Lo odio. I have to stand in line to get on the bus. I hate it. Esa es positiva. La negativa sería, digamos que usted tiene su propio auto y no tiene que hacer cola para abordar el bus. I don't, ahí está el negativo, have to stand in line to get on the bus. Do you understand? Yes. O si tú dices, do the laundry, do the laundry, lavar la ropa, tú dices, yo tengo que lavar la ropa una vez al mes. I have to do the laundry once a month. Pero digamos que tienes muchacha y no lo tienes que hacer tú. I don't have to do the laundry. Tengo muchacha. I have a maid. Por ejemplo, positivo, I have to. Negativo, I don't have to. Aquí lo odio. I hate it. Any questions? Eh, al final de la oración de la positiva se tiene que poner I hate it. Correcto. Okay. Ahí Thanks. le va a poner I hate it. Porque usted está diciendo que odia hacer eso. Another question? Another question? No. No. Nobody? Okay. Ready? Let's go.
Tremias, you didn't go. Usted está presentando. ¿Cómo? Usted está presentando. No. Se oyó una voz por ahí. Uh -huh. Es que ahí sale siempre. Eh, vaya, la, la otra sería como... Um, I have to cook. Punto. Mm -hmm. I hate eat. Lo odio. No sé, algo así. Solo son cinco por todas, ¿verdad? Cinco, dijo. Okay. Cinco positivas y cinco negativas. Ah, uh, ok. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And Por ejemplo, si usted dice, I have to cook, I hate it. O negativa, mm -hmm. I don't have to cook. O sea que la negativa, eh, es que eso sí no lo entendí. Vaya, digamos, yo digo, I don't do laundry, hasta ahí la dejo. Ahí está bien. Sí, I don't do laundry. Esa es considerada negativa. Y entonces también puedo poner como I don't hate to driver driver. Ah no, I don't hate to drive. To drive. No, no. usted va a poner I I have to drive. I have. I have to drive. No, pero yo digo en negativo. I don't have I to don't. drive. Ah vaya, pues eso quería saber. Las que llevo ahorita son estas, mire. La primera es, I have to travel to work. I have, hate it. Uh -huh. Y la segunda es, I don't do laundry. La That's tercera good. es, I have to cook. I hate it. Very good. Y la cuarta es, I don't have to driver. No, I don't driver. have to drive. Drive. Drive, ok. Gracias. Driver es la persona. Ah, ok. Entonces sería drive. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Yes. No sé si mi compañero tendrá las o tendrá otras. Mis compañeros. Eh, no, ahorita todavía no. Okay. <ríe> es que se... No sé si vendo también, tal vez tiene otras. Hola, sí, ya tengo algunas. Por ejemplo, I have to clean the house every week. No sé si es así para decir cada semana. ¿Cómo así? No escuché muy bien. ¿Cómo fue? Es, I have, I have to clean the house every week, week. Pero no sé si es así para decir cada semana. Every week, yes, así es. Okay. Y tengo, ah, le copié a usted lo que le estaba diciendo el teacher. <laughs> I don't have to cry. Eh, I tengo, I have to do the laundry every day. I hate it. Y estoy haciendo la cuatro. Ok. Is everybody finished or do you need more time?
All right, all right. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Santos. Let's go, Katia Lorena. Let's go, Daris. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello. Let's go, let's go. No entraron a la sesión privada, Santos, Daris. Sí, 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 entré. Lo único que me fui a la plataforma y quizás te, porque tengo el internet que nos ha estado fallando, nos lo restablecieron hoy. Mm. Eh, no me cargaba, pero okay. ahorita entro. Yo viajo al trabajo por las mañanas. Así sería. Yo viajo Voy al trabajo todos los días en la mañana. ¿Perdón? Yo voy al trabajo todos los días en la mañana. Sí. No, oye. Hola. No, oye, se viene de último. Y ahora vamos con las negativas. Vale. Entonces. ¿Qué es lo que, que, es lo que tenemos que hacer si me todo mal? Me he cargado. Cinco, ah, ahorita estoy... cinco oraciones positivas y cinco negativas. Man. Sí. Con respecto tiro? a las cosas que odian las personas. Ya con vamos con las negativas. Con respecto a las cosas que odian las personas. Sí. Por ejemplo, podría decir... Vaya, en las positivas, hayamos puesto... Yo tengo que hacer fila para entrar al banco. Lo odio. O yo tengo que hacer tal cosa, pero lo odio. Uh -huh. Y con las... Con las negativas, el teacher nos daba un ejemplo de... ¿Tienes la cinco? ¿Hola? Si quieren, decimos nuestras oraciones, las cinco y cinco. Vaya. Ok, entonces, ¿quién inicia? Inicia usted. Santos, que inicia Santos. Ok. <risa> Santos. Tiene el micrófono apagado. Come on, Santos, you can do it. Is everybody finished? 
Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? En la tres nos hemos quedado. All right. Si no ha terminado, le queda de tarea. Alguien que ya terminó que quiera compartir sus ejemplos. Yo solo positivas. Ok. Rivas. Ok. I, ha I have to do laundry every Wednesday at night. I hate it. I have to do good meeting at work. I had it. I have to head up early every day. I hate it. I have to dry when this rain. I have, I hate it. I have to go stand online in the bank. I hate it. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Um, Jacqueline, Stephanie. I have to clean the house today. I hate it. I don't have clean the house today. Perfect. Brenda, Benitez. Okay. I have to clean the house every week. I hate it. I don't have to drive. I have to do laundry every day. I hate it. I have to cook every night. I hate it. I don't have to sleep on the street. Perfect. Excellent, Brenda. Karen Zuleima. I hate to the maid diner for my family. I hate. I, I don't have to do diner because I buy it. Excellent. I have to do the laundry on the weekend. I hate it. <laughs> I don't have to do laundry because I do it for me. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Karen. The last one is Claudia Beatriz. Um, I have to travel to work. I hate it. I don't do laundry. I have to cook. I hate it. I don't have to drive. I have I have to open the mail. I hate it. I don't exercise in the morning. I have to clean bathroom. I hate it. I don't play soccer. I have only online class. I hate it. I don't watch TV. Excellent. All right. Applause for the participants. Applause for the participants. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are going to continue and look at the next activity. Are you ready? Let's move. Four point two lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using the regular verbs. Okay, antes que hagamos la próxima actividad, vamos a tomar la foto eh, de la asistencia. I need for everybody, please eh, turn on your camera. Everybody, please uh, turn on your camera for one moment. Only for one moment. Okay. Is everybody ready? Yes. Okay. Everybody say cheese. Okay. That's one. One more. Everybody say cheese 
number two. Thank you. Now you can turn off your camera if you want to. Now we are going to take the attendance. So when I call your name, please say present. Anna Lisette. Present. Today is the 31st. Present. Wow, que rápido va el tiempo. Brenda Susana. Present teacher. Christian Lisandro. Present teacher. Cindy Janet. Present teacher. Claudia Beatrice. Present. Claudia Roxana. Present teacher. Daris Marisol. Daris Marisol. Present. Present teacher. Thank you. Diego Serrano. Pre present teacher. Erasmo Perla. Present teacher. Eric Xavier. Present teacher. Fatima Guadalupe. Present teacher. Glenda Maribel. Present. Jandel Mariel. Jandel Mariel. Absent. Jennifer Beatriz. Present. Jeremias Alexander. Jeremias Alexander. Absent. Present. present. Jeremias present. Alexander, uh, present, okay. Uh, George present. Alberto. Present, teacher. Jose Jovito. Present, teacher. Karen Lisette. Present. Karen Stephanie. Present. Karen Zuleima. Present, Katia Carolina. Okay, Jeremias, por favor, mantengan sus micrófonos en silencio, que se escucha bastante interferencia. I'm going to put everybody on silence. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Katia Lorena. Present teacher. Manuel de Jesus. Manuel de Jesus. Monica Maria. Present teacher. Nady Evis. Present teacher. Noemi Lisette. I'm here. Rose Maria del Milagro. Present. Santos Miguel. Present teacher. Silvia Esperanza. Silvia Esperanza. Jacqueline Stephanie. Present teacher. Excellent. All right. Now we are going to continue. Any questions at this moment? Any questions at this moment? No. Nothing. Nobody. Okay. Now we're going to move forward and look at this activity. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán a formular oraciones 
positivas y negativas en pasado simple, usando verbos regulares. Además, practicarán una conversación, la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario de la vida real. Regular verbs. Listen, please. ¿Todos escuchan? Positive and negative state. Yes. In the ¿Todos escuchan? Yes. Using... yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, everybody, please listen. How this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Jennifer. Did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning, and my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do? No I studied for the test. Este era mío. Oh, no. Do we... Okay, Eremias, please uh, keep your microphone in silence. Guys, por favor, mantengamos los micrófonos en silencio. All right, keep your microphone in silence, please. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using regular verbs. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I didn't study. Let's listen and practice. Hi Jennifer, did you have a good weekend? Well, I had a busy weekend, and I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercised in the morning. Then my roommate and I cleaned, did laundry, and shopped. And then I visited my parents. So what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the test all day. Oh, no. Do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched television all weekend. Let's get started by practicing these statements in the past. Simple past statements. Regular verbs. I studied on Sunday. I didn't study on Saturday. You watched television. You didn't watch a movie. She stayed home. She didn't stay out. We shopped for groceries. We didn't shop for clothes. They exercised on Saturday. They didn't exercise on Sunday. Didn't equals did not. Spelling. Watch. Watched. W-A-T-C-H-E-D. Exercise. Exercised. E X E R C I S E D. Study. Studied. S T U D I E D. Stay. Stayed. S T A Y E D. Shop. Shopped. S H O P P E D. Let's analyze the examples on the chart now. I would like to get started with positive statements. Before I start though, I would like to point out the verbs towards the right hand side of the chart. When talking about the past, and if we're using regular verbs, we will follow a quite simple rule. We need to change the verbs to the past tense, and we can do this by simply adding ed. For example, the verb watch. We will change it to the past 
by simply adding ed. On a different class, we'll learn how to pronounce these verbs and also the spelling rules. Let's go back to making positive statements in the past tense. In order to make positive statements in the past tense, we will follow this formula. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples now. I studied on Sunday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will put a complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one more example now. You watch television. First, we will add the subject you. Then we need to include the verb in the past tense. Finally, we will add the complement television. Let's learn how to make negative statements in the past. In order to make negative statements in the past, we can follow this formula. Subject plus didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. Notice that in this case, we include an auxiliary verb, didn't. And because we have this auxiliary verb, we will no longer change the verb to the past tense. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I didn't study on Saturday. First, we will add the subject I. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, study. Finally, we will add the complement on Sunday. Let's analyze one last example. You didn't watch a movie. First, we will add the subject you. Next, we will include the auxiliary verb to make negative statements, didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present tense, watch. Finally, we will add the complement, a movie. Now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past tense. I would like for you to use all the verbs on the right-hand side of the chart and provide similar examples about yourself, family, friends, and coworkers. For example, I watch television on Monday. I didn't exercise on Monday. My friend didn't stay home on Saturday. She shopped for clothes. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, very good. Uh, any questions at this moment about this activity? Yes. Yes, what is your question? What is the pronunciation correct of the negative? Ah, oh, very good. Didn't. Didn't. Repeat. Didn't. 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 Very good. Didn't. 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 Another question. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Eh, la pronunciación correcta eh, cuando ya el verbo cambia y se le agrega la e y la d porque en algunos casos suena muy parecido ah uh, yes y presente ya cambia ah uh, yes están tres sonidos el sonido voiced y el sonido unvoiced y el sonido ed que se pronuncia la ID, 
Eh, voiced, por ejemplo, dices learn. Learn. Si pones acá en la garganta y escuchas que learn termina con un sonido que se pronuncia. Learn. Right. Es, produce un sonido, la N. Solo la pronunciación es con D. Learned. Learned. Pero si es unvoiced, por ejemplo, talk, talk, k, talk, es unvoiced. No es pronunciado el sonido. So la pronunciación es T. Talk, t, talk. T. Pero si el verbo termina con T o D, por ejemplo, want, en el pasado sería wanted. Se pronuncia la ID. O land. El pasado landed. Se pronuncia la ID. So depende de cómo termina el verbo. Así es la pronunciación. Ok. Eh, esto lo vamos a ver más adelante. Ahorita vamos a escribir cinco oraciones positivas. Y cinco oraciones negativas en el pasado. Acerca de usted su familia o amigos. Any questions? Any questions? No teacher. Ok, y lo vamos a escribir no. en no, el teacher. y lo vamos a escribir en el discussion forum. Ready, let's go. Hey, let's go, Claudia. Let's go, Katia. Let's go, let's go. Claudia, let's go. Teacher. Hello, hello. Cuando usted pasó lista, mi, mi internet me falló, entonces no sé si me puso una asistencia. Uh, Katia Carolina Vives, quiero ver. Katia Carolina Vives. Control F. Vivas. <laughs> Vivas, ahí está. Sorry. Ok, vamos a ver. Katia, ¿dónde está Katia? Vivas, vivas. Vivas, aquí está. Treinta y uno. Sí, present. Ok, gracias. Cindy. Cindy Janet Vivas? No. No. No, <laughs> no sé. <laughs> esto es Katia. Ah, aquí está Carolina Vivas. Ah, ok. Ahí mm -hmm. estaba otra Vivas. Quiero ver. 31. Sí, somos todos con el mismo apellido. <laughs> sí, así ve. Let me see. 31. Katia Carolina Vivas. Aquí está. Katia. 
31. Present, yeah. See, stop present. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Listen music. Oh, that's okay. Okay. This. Um, mm -hmm. oh, yeah.
Is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time, teacher. Me faltan dos todavía. Okay. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? More time, please. All right. Is is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finished, teacher. All right, continue to the next activity. I, I can play. Y esto hay que publicarlo. Sí, en el foro. Sí, fue. Play up on on Saturday. Ay, la última sería I Pero a ver qué está pasando. Bien. Ay. For my family. Oh, okay. Hmm. Listo. ¿Cómo va usted? Sí. Ya le... All right, guys, time is up. Excuse uh, me. Is up. So we will continue tomorrow. Please continue working on the platform and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.